Hey what's up guys, in this video we are going to talk about identifiers in C++ programming. Identifiers are the name given by the programmer for the variable, constant, function, labels or even the user defined data types. Like in example, whenever we create one variable like integer number, then the variable name number is one identifier which is given by the programmer. And also whenever we create one constant then the name of the constant also given by the programmer. So this is also one example of the identifier. Similarly whenever we create one function like an example void display here the name of the function is given by the programmer and which is also one example of the identifier. Similarly we can have the labels and also the user defined data types whose names are given by the programmer and they are the example of identifiers in C++ programming. Now talk about the naming conventions. There are some naming conventions one should follow while creating one identifier. So first of all we have the identifiers can contain alphabets from A to Z. Also it can have digits from 0 to 9 and also one identifier name can have underscores. Secondly, one identifier cannot start with a digit. Like in example, we cannot have one identifier which is like one number. So we cannot start one identifier with a digit. The first letter always has to be one alphabet. And thirdly, identifier names should not be any of the reserve keyword. That means we cannot create one identifier which has the name same as one of the reserve keywords in C++. Like in example, we cannot create one variable integer break because break is one of the reserve keywords. And fourthly, because C++ is a case sensitive language, so uppercase and lowercase letters are distinct. So if we have one variable like integer capital A and we have another variable like integer small a, so because C++ is a case sensitive language, so it will interpret both of these variables separately. So these are the naming conventions one should follow while creating one identifier. So hope you understand the concept. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you.